Well, friends, my biggest fear has become a reality overnight. Unfortunately, as you can see on the chart right now, Bitcoin last night dipped briefly below 6,000 and then recovered again to just, just above it, but has now again dipped below 6,000. My 25% um, hope or feeling that, that we, we could still feel or still see a, a, a recovery here from, from where we are has proved to be, in my opinion, uh, not correct. I was wrong. Um, it looks like we are going to go down a little bit further. Now, if I was holding Bitcoin, which I don't at the moment, um, I would definitely get out right now and possibly buy back a little further down. Um, even if you are at a loss right now by, by getting out of Bitcoin right now, um, all you have to do is wait until the bottom, until it turns around again and buy in lower. Um, and then when it comes up again, you will definitely make up your loss it's not the end of the world um, i have no doubt that bitcoin is going to uh, come up again it's it's just the way it is um, this this sell-off or, or retracement has not completed yet this is now proof um, like i said yesterday we we um, or rather the, the bitcoin price withstood the six thousand support level on a number of occasions already um, but it did prove to be um, not sufficient and uh, not strong enough and we have dipped below I'm hoping that we're not going to go too far below it but there is talk of uh, $4,000 um, I would keep my eye open for $4,000 it, it is quite possible um, I always said if we do dip below 6000 it is going to go a fair amount further so um, Watch out for that. Um, like I said, if, if I had Bitcoin, I would be out of Bitcoin right now. I would be sell, sell off my Bitcoin immediately and uh, wait and, and let this play out because uh, we don't know where this is going to go at the moment. That's about all I had to say today. Um, my apologies for getting this one wrong. Um, like I say, um, I don't give financial advice. I hope nobody has been acting on my advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Just basically testing my, my very low level of skills on the markets, that's all. And sharing what I've learned or what I see with you guys. Um, but yeah, if you do have Bitcoin, I would suggest getting out right now. Um, that would be my, what I would do if I was in Bitcoin anyway. And just, just wait it out for a little bit. I don't think it's going to last too long. We have come down so far already from December last year that uh, I don't think there's much left in, in uh, or rather not far to go down to the bottom of the barrel, put it that way. Um, that's it for now. Um, just a quick one, uh, just to let you know. I was wrong. Um, it has happened. And uh, my friend who, who I follow on, on YouTube, the one who is far more experienced than me, was correct. The I think it was he said the, the third failed rally, which just happened and didn't quite make it, um, and he predicted we were going to go down. He, he also said it might take a week or two before we drop below six thousand, but it's happened literally overnight. So this might be a quick one, might be the last one, the last dip. Who knows? But um, we are going. In my opinion, now we are going to go down a little bit further. So that is it. Nothing we can do about it. This is the markets and um, we just got to roll with the punches. I'll catch you in the next video. Well, well, well. I had just finished recording that video. In fact, it was still busy rendering when what you see on the chart happened. It has bounced back quite nicely above 6,000. The, the indicators below it, the, the MACD and, and the uh, Stochastics RSI are looking extremely positive for a bit of a rise. So I think we are in for a little bit of a rise, possibly in the short term. I think we're going to have to wait and see what this plays out to do. Um, funny enough, I just had a quick look at one or two other exchanges. And this is the only exchange that I found that it actually did dip below 6,000. It, it made it to about 6,010, I think on, on um, CEX, which is one of the exchanges that I watch as well. Um, so, you know, it might still be 
surviving or that that support level um, maybe just on this chart that it's that it's dipped slightly below who knows but uh, I think it is prudent or it would be for me to uh, make my play on the side of caution and um, maybe a good time now while it's above 6,000 um, just to uh, sell your Bitcoin what you have and uh, just see where this is going like I said um, I, I was still busy rendering the video when it, it, it bounced up above 6,000 again but um, look uh, I think we're gonna probably play around here a little bit and then maybe see another drop a little bit later on I'm not too convinced that this is this is it now um, we're gonna we're gonna need some real confirmation I'm gonna have to have a look at the charts and look for um, resistance levels now uh, to make sure that that to, or to to confirm that this could be if it is um, the turnaround point I, I honestly don't know it's a big psychological point for sure so it, it could well be um, we'll have to see what happens I will either make a video another video tomorrow or maybe later on this afternoon to, to um, just uh, update you but bear in mind those two yellow lines that gap still hasn't been filled we might fill that gap today and if it makes it up all that way that that is a fair fair gain but then again if you, if you have a look in this area here gains like that are not uncommon these days um, it's not a huge amount what are we um, about six thousand at the moment it would have to go to six thousand six hundred so it's only a six hundred dollar change it's quite possible that it could do that in in, in an hour so um, let's just keep an eye on it um, no promises at this stage it's way too volatile I'm gonna have to go and sit and have a look at this now I want to just wait and see where this goes for a little while before I do anything else.